All right, would you be willing to do an impersonation of uh, one of the heroes? I'm totally ready. I'll okay, well, what you gonna do? I'll do Luna. Luna dying. Nova, Nova. That was perfect, thank, thank you, you so much. I'm just gonna, come on guys. <laughs> we, we need one to do an impersonation of one of the heroes. Anyone up for it? You all look so talented. I'm so sure that one of you, Ogre? Okay, let's go for it. Oh God, Magi. <laughs> Axe calls. Winner one Brunter and a Cole Brunter love each other very much. A storm is born. Awesome. Look at this go. Again? <laughs> Look at this go. Oh, yeah. Did you practice that before? Oh, yeah. So, so you. Oh, no, no, so, no, no. so, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go for a dazzle. Dazzle. <laughs> Loved it. You go too? Dazzle. <laughs> that sounded rehearsed. <laughs> I'm Roos Rack. Don't touch me. And of course, who knows better how all those heroes sound than the pro players themselves. Bulbo is joining me in there. I'm just going to assume and make a wild guess. You're going to go for a tinker, are you? How do you know? I don't know. <laughs> oh, blind me. Go for it. I want to hear it. Yeah. March, 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 march. <laughs> Keep on going. <laughs> Can I do clockwork too? Yeah, clockwork. Go for it. I have a tin man battle plan. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. I speak for the trees. You serious? Yes, seriously. All are healed. <laughs> I have the utmost pleasure of now being joined by three of the lovely voice actors, which are the heroes you guys actually hear in game. We have Jen, Sam, and also Eric joining me. So uh, let us quickly know which heroes you actually do. I do uh, Slardar and Necrolite and uh, Rattletrap and the Innkeeper and... Um, uh, who else? I'm, I think, the, and several others. <laughs> Etc. Hmm. I'm Puck and Lena and Windrunner and Medusa. I'm Zeus, Tide Hunter, <laughs> Tiny, Thurian or Nature's Prophet, <laughs> and several <laughs> others. <laughs> uh, Zeus, let me see, Nature's Prophet, Tide Hunter, Tiny, Leshrac. He's over in the corner. Uh, no, that's Tidehunter. Uh, Chen, sorry, Chen. I'm so sorry. It, I don't don't <laughs> let Chen mean any less to you because of that. That was way impressive. Trust me, that was good. Can can you guys give us an example as well as he just went with it on the fly? Oh sure. Uh, grow pestilence. Hey, rebel trap. There you are. Oh, sorry. Guys, I, I really, I'm really interested to know, how did you get into voice acting? I trained as a theater actor. And when I graduated from uh, college, I didn't know what I was going to do because it's hard to get jobs in theater. She was trained as a theater actor. So and, um. Yeah. So, and uh, a friend of mine said, I think you'd be a really good voiceover actor. And I didn't know really what that meant at the time. And she sucked me into a job in a radio station. So that's how I just threw a friend. Well, thanks to your friend, yeah, really, right? because we enjoy your voice in that game for Thank sure. You. You, how did you? How did you get sucked in that? I, I used to. My parents gave me a reel-to-reel -reel recorder, and uh, my brother and I, when we were seven years old, and we would make little shows up, and uh, my brother would be the interviewer, and I would be all the people who would come onto the show, um, including showing up with myself every you're once in a while. What you're doing now. Exactly, you're but by myself. <laughs> And uh, and now um, and then my first professional job was just uh, I ended up pl uh, playing a 60 year old African American man and I was 23 and I showed up and I weighed a uh, 175 pounds and no beard and came walking in I'm kind of like hi uh, I'm here for the dairy job and they're like uh, I don't think so they're upstairs I go up there and I'm like hi I'm Sam Mowry and they go <laughs> everybody laughs and I'm just kind of like. <clears throat> Uh, what's so funny? And they're like, we were expecting a 60-year-old African-American man. I was like, oh, okay. But, yeah, so that, uh, that was the beginning of all of this. Oh, God, I'm so, I'm so glad it happened. They have video games. That's how long ago it was. You still look young. I can, I can tell you that. I have to throw that there. You still don't look like a 60-year-old uh, African man. I can, <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. I can still not see that. I have played many different races and... 
let's uh, let's face it. I mean, I'm not a warlock either, and I'm not a a, a slardar, uh, but not a Slytherin. But I'm happy to play one on TV. That's great. We're so we're so grateful for that. So, how did you end up in the magical world of voice acting? That's something that just sort of occurred out of very much like my friends. I've I've been a theater actor forever uh, since I was five, and. Um, the voice acting actually just came because everybody says, man, you have an amazing voice. And you just learn that this isn't the voice, it's actually what you can do with it or what you can do just by being yourself or by being different characters. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm thankful that now I get to play in video games that can, you know, use the voice, so to speak, <laughs> because it's just fun to play. So that's it. 